Achieving a sub-2 ERA in Major League Baseball will get you on the radar of any Major League team. The majority of pitchers that fall into this category usually are relief pitchers. Now achieving a sub-1 ERA? Now that's something you don't see often. And in terms of pitchers that fall under this category, they oftentimes are the closing pitcher, otherwise known as the ninth inning pitcher who comes in to hold down a three run or less lead. Two examples in recent memory that achieved a sub-1 ERA are Zach Britton of the Orioles in 2016 when he posted a .54 ERA and saved 47 games without blowing a single one. The other example that comes to mind is Blake Trinan of the Athletics in 2018 when he posted a .78 ERA and saved 38 games. Both players were the closer for their respective team and were unable to recreate the success they saw in their historically great season. And then there's a guy named J.P. Fireisen. Wow. Originally drafted by Cleveland in the 16th round of the 2014 draft, Fireisen was traded to the Yankees in the trade that sent Andrew Miller from the Yankees to Cleveland. After spending three and a half seasons in the Yankees minor league system, he was again traded to the Milwaukee Brewers this time in September of 2019. During the shortened season in 2020, JP finally got his first chance at the major league level with the Brewers, only making six appearances and allowing six runs in nine and a third innings. Not a great debut, but not a large enough sample to make any sort of judgment on. Fire Eisen rejoined the Brewers for the 2021 season, hoping to cement himself into the bullpen, and successfully did so, pitching in 21 games through the first month and a half of the season, until he was once again traded, this time to the Rays. The Tampa Bay Rays are known for their ability to acquire pitchers and use their sorcery in order to make them elite. They saw the potential in Fire Eisen and traded relief pitcher Trevor Richards along with their up-and-coming shortstop Willie Adamas to the Brewers in order to get Fire Eisen. Adamas has since cemented himself in the Brewers lineup for the foreseeable future. The Brewers, however, had to part with Drew Rasmussen, who has since become a staple in the Rays starting rotation. 2022, he put up a 2.84 ERA in 28 games started. But back to JP, as soon as he joined the Rays, he made the Rays look like the sorcerers that they are and put up a very solid 2.45 ERA in 34 games down the stretch to help the Rays make their push into the playoffs. Although there wasn't much to be excited about in that postseason as they were a first round exit thanks to the Red Sox. After a tumultuous start to his career, which involved changing scenery three times in order to find some stability, it finally seemed as though the 29-year-old Fire Eisen would finally be the centerpiece of an elite Rays bullpen. In eight April appearances, he pitched 10 and a third innings, and as you probably guessed, did not allow a run. He also was able to tally two holds and a win in April. I should also mention that in April, he was the opener on back-to-back -back occasions, meaning that he started the game but only pitched a couple of innings each time. May saw Fire Eisen get into 12 games, and this time he held down four games and got three more wins. And as you probably guessed, he didn't allow a run. Well, technically no. He allowed an unearned run on May 22nd in a game against the Orioles because of back-to-back -back errors by second baseman Vidal Brujan and left fielder Randy Rosarina with two outs that allowed Ramon Urias to score. Even though a run scored, the errors kept Fire Eisen's ERA at zero. After this outing, JP would get just two outings in June before injuring his shoulder, which he tried to recover from without going in for surgery. Ultimately, this ended his season short. After an extended stay on the 15-day IL, he was placed on the 60-day IL in early June and did not return for the remainder of the 2022 season. After the season came to a close, it was decided that the injury required surgery to repair the labrum and shoulder cuff in his shoulder. Let's take a look at what JP Fireisen was able to accomplish in his short but dominant sample. He accumulated a 1.4 war, according to baseball reference, in addition to a 4-0 record, 25 strikeouts, and a .493 whip. He allowed just 7 hits, which equates to a 2.6 hits per 9. Through 24 and a third innings, JP Fireisen allowed 0 earned runs. Unfortunately, we'll never know how long JP could have gone in 2022 without giving up an earned run. Maybe, just maybe, he could have gone the whole year. Although, there's a big reason why this seems like an anomaly. FIP is an acronym in baseball that stands for Fielding Independent Pitching. The definition I'm going to read is directly from MLB.com's website, mainly because I have yet to find a better explanation as to to what FIP entails. FIP is similar to ERA, but it focuses solely on the events a pitcher has the most control over. Strikeouts, unintentional walks, hit by pitches, and home runs. It entirely removes results on balls hit into the field of play. For example, if a pitcher has surrendered a high average on balls in play, his FIP will likely be lower than his ERA. Balls in play are not part of the FIP equation because a pitcher is believed to have limited control over their outcome. So, if a player has a high disparity between their ERA and FIP, it is likely that said
said player is either A, due for regression, or B, due for a breakout. In the case of Firehizen, I believe it's the former. JP's 1.67 FIP is quite a ways away from the zero ERA that shows up on his baseball reference page. However, a 1.67 FIP is nothing to scoff at. While it is in limited playing time, which goes without saying, Firehizen still had a fantastic two months plus of action, where he showed the promise that the Rays knew he could tap into. Entering the offseason, it was decided by the Rays that after going through surgery, JP Fireisen would not be back with the club until late in the 2023 season, and decided it was best to move on from him instead of paying his 2023 contract. He was designated for assignment on December 13th, and was traded to the Dodgers the following day in exchange for a minor league pitcher. The Dodgers are playing the long game with JP, as he is under club control through the 2026 season. Hopefully, he can fully recover from the injury and make a comeback in the 2024 season and beyond. Like I mentioned earlier, the Rays have a tremendous ability to get the most out of their pitchers. Besides Fire Eisen, Jason Adam is another great example of this concept. Prior to joining the Rays, Adam had played with three other teams and never saw much success. In 2022, Jason Adam collected a 1.56 ERA in 67 appearances. The Rays have confidence that their current staff and other players that they may bring in will be able to not only contribute to their 2023 staff, but have the ability to get them deep into October baseball with the hopes of bringing home a World Series. Comment below if you think JP Fireisen will be able to replicate his elite results when he returns from injury. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.